Hey everyone, I'm Richard Blaze, and the holidays are right around the corner, which means plenty of parties and family get-togethers to prepare for. So to start the season out right, I challenge three creative professionals to come up with the most amazing culinary creations using delicious Keebler townhouse crackers. This is Festive Face-Off. All right, so let's introduce our competitors for today's challenge. First up, Sarah Ann Richardson, stylist. Hi, Chef. Next is Chef Casey Korn. Hello, Chef. And last but not least, designer Clifton Crump. Hi, Chef. You know, the holidays are here. It means lots of parties and ugly sweaters and a lot of this game that we're about to play, the White Elephant Party. I've only done this once in my life. I don't know what I'm doing. Inside of each box are holiday-themed ingredients, and you'll pair those with townhouse crackers to make delicious holiday-themed snacks. You'll get a chance to choose one of these boxes and those will be your ingredients. Until whoever goes second gets the chance to either keep their box or steal yours. So whoever gets third gets to pick whatever box they want. Clifton, All right. you have the first choice. Not to scare you, one of these boxes was moving around a little bit a couple minutes ago. You no, know, I think I'm gonna go with the first one. You have some radishes, salami, some cranberries, and some cheese. I can work with this. Next up is gonna be Casey. I love White Elephant because I love stealing. You're Sorry, stealing I'm, I'm going for Clifton's the first steal. holiday Ooh, themed I'm ingredients. Clifton, you're back up to pick. All right, so Clifton, it looks like you got some mint and a pear, maybe some goat cheese, some dried cranberries, and a lonely persimmon. And last but not least, Sarah Ann. Do I want to chance it with this other box, or do I want to take what I know I want, which is now Casey's? I think I'm going to take Casey's tray. Oh. Sorry. Casey, your call now. What are you going to do? I'm so sorry, Clifton. Casey's taken my gift not once, but twice. And I'm thinking, what I ever do to you? Well, Clifton, looks like you have the last box right here. Oh, wow! Ooh. You have red and yellow peppers, flat leaf parsley, cranberry jelly, and some yellow pepper pesto. This is actually going to work out for me, I think. OK, so competitors, your ingredients are set. You'll have 30 minutes to make an amazing holiday-themed snacks featuring these mystery holiday ingredients and townhouse crackers. And the winner will get $1,000. There is now $1,000 on the line. I am about to bring my A-game. Your time starts now. I'm super excited because one of my favorite holiday treats to make is fresh cranberry relish with orange. Oh, that cranberry sauce looks really good. Wow, you're Thanks. making that from scratch? Yeah. Wow. So my strategy on the white elephant is to plate first and get my ingredients on the board second. Wait, Clifton, what are you doing <laughs> with these crackers? I, I'm using a little honey as some glue to keep my, my crackers in place. I've stolen enough from you today, but I might <laughs> steal that idea too. All right, chefs, listen up. There's 15 minutes remaining. I'm a little worried about the time because I am pickling persimmons, which do take a little bit of time. But as long as they cool, I'll be okay. Okay, Casey, how's it going over here? It's going good. I'm just plating, so I'm feeling pretty good. Is that a schmear? Oh, it's a schmear. What is it made of? Goat cheese, some basil and mint. I threw in my dried cranberries, pickled persimmons, shaved pear as well, a little bit sweeter with some honey and walnuts. What kind of townhouse cracker did you use? I went with the original. The light and buttery kind. I thought they'd go perfect with all of my really bold flavors. This could be a winner. Good luck, Chef. Thank you. <laughs> I'm super excited to make mustard and capers centers because I'm really excited to have those strong flavors with the flip side crackers. Sarah Ann. Hello. I got super inspired by all these beautiful poinsettias, so I'm making a poinsettia. You're not putting poinsettias on here, are you? No, no, They're no, no. poisonous. That's right. No, okay. Just the appearance of poinsettias. They look just like poinsettias. That's hey, incredibly thanks. artistic. Are you slicing the cheese with scissors? Yes. That is a technique I've never seen before. Okay, well listen, it looks beautiful. I hope it tastes as uh, good as it looks. I hope so too. Good luck. Thank you. All right, competitors, there's only five minutes remaining. I'm looking over at Sarah Ann and Clifton's plates, and they look Unbelievable. Clifton's got this pizza thing going on. Sarah Ann's making these poinsettia meat flowers. I feel a little bit out of my depth here. All right, so Clifton, you got some oven baked pita crackers yes. that you formed into mini pizza presents. Yeah, a little here. pizza present. All right, good luck. I can't believe how little time there is left. I know I'm going to make it, it's just going to be a tight one. Competitors, one minute left. I'm ahead of the game here. I've got everything plated, it's looking good, it's gonna taste good. I'm feeling pretty confident at this point. I'm just hoping that everything is gonna come together. Five, four, three, two, 
one. Time's up, competitors. Stop plating your delicious townhouse cracker dish. I didn't have time to taste my dish, so fingers crossed. Okay, Sarah Ann, this is art. You're a stylist, it's obvious. What did you prepare and what was in your white elephant box? Add radishes, salami, add some nice cheese. I also had the cranberries, which I cooked down to a cranberry relish. Okay, so how do I attack this? So I was inspired by the flip sides crackers, so you can sort of choose your own adventure. I'm gonna do the pretzel, because cool. I think there's a lot of salt and great flavor there. Smart. All right, I'll see you on the flip side. Go for it. There's some big flavors going on here. Totally. But the homemade cranberry relish really takes it to the next level. It's beautiful. Most importantly, Sarah Ann, it's delicious. Thank you, Chef. All right, good luck. Thanks. Clifton. Hi, Chef. What's going on? It smells outstanding. What was in your white elephant present? I've had some bell peppers, I had some cranberry sauce, some yellow pepper pesto, and some parsley. I came up with these like little Christmas gifts. Yeah, right? oh, I like it. This is a little ricotta cheese and some, and some honey drilled up on top. Sometimes you don't need much. I'm feeling pretty confident right now. I mean, I think he's liking what I'm putting down. Wow, great use of the pita crackers, lots of different flavors. Thank you, chef. Good job. All right. Okay, so Casey, what was in your white elephant present? I had goat cheese, mint, a pear, a persimmon, and then dried cranberries. I pickled the persimmons. So we got this whole sweet, sour, savory thing going on. You got the umami from the cheese. Mm. Simple and elegant and refined. Absolutely delicious. Good job. Thanks, chef. Competitors, you absolutely just crushed the white elephant party. All of your holiday snacks were just absolutely delicious. But there can only be one winner of the festive face-off white elephant party challenge. And the winner is... Sarah Ann. Congratulations, oh Sarah God. Ann. Congratulations. Good job, good job. So when Chef Blaze announced me as a winner, I couldn't believe it. Everybody else's dishes were so strong. I was just like, this can't be real. It was amazing. All right, let's have some. Hey everyone, I hope you found these Keebler townhouse creations as inspiring as I found them delicious. Thanks for watching Festive Face Off, and don't forget to dress up your holidays at home. <laughs>